Good day and welcome to this instructional video on how to complete a calibration check using an RKA Eagle 2 PID instrument. The very first thing you want to do on completing a check is to remove your instrument from its case and connect the tip of the instrument to the hose and subsequently to the PID. This one here is all set up already. Turn on your Eagle and let it warm up for about 5 minutes. You always need to let the sensors inside your PID warm up to ensure that they're working in accordance with the manufacturer's design. While you're letting it warm up, make sure that you have a copy of the most recent calibration certificate with you and with your instrument. This demonstrates that a proper calibration has been completed on your Eagle and that it's operating the way it's supposed to. Next, you need to get everything else ready and make sure that you have all the equipment to do your calibration check. You obviously need your RKI Eagle and your operator manual. This is your operator manual right here. You need to have your calibration form and a pen. Obviously take your notes down. And you need to have your calibration gases. This one here is for hexane and it's your LEL gas, 15%. And this one here is your isobutylene gas. And this one here is at 100 parts per million. This is your one-way valve. Make sure you have this as well. This will help attach your, your instrument to your gases so you can take your readings. And you need a little piece of neoprene tube. Next, start by checking that your Eagle is operating with the methane detection set in the off position. I'll just demonstrate this using, and I'll videotape it using uh, my phone. This is showing that the methane elimination mode is enabled. Now, adjust your eagle to zero by taking an air reading. Both zeros. So next, prepare your field form by recording the instrument information, date of calibration, and the concentration of the calibration gases that you're using. Here's a copy of the form with the instrument model that we're using, the serial number of the model. This is the date of its last cleaning and calibration done by Maxim. Here's the date that we're doing the calibration check, the job number, the calibration gas that we're using for hexane, which is 15% LEL, the calibration gas that we're using for isobutylene, which is 100 parts per million, and my initials. Next, start with your parts per million gas and connect the valve to the canister. So we're going to use the isobutylene first. So here's my isobutylene gas. I'm going to connect my valve to the canister. You can hear that little click there as I, as I was screwing this in. The valve becomes pressurized and you can actually see how much gas you have in your canister. So now we're going to take a direct reading from the 100 parts per million gas using our PID. And as you can see, it's going to slowly rise up to 100 parts per million on the isobutylene scale. So for, so for isobutylene, we're gonna record a number of 93 parts per million.
Next, we're going to connect our RKI and our valve to the LEL scale hexane gas. You can see that we have gas registering in our canister on our valve. Connecting our tip to the gas and we should be able to see the numbers go up to 15% LEL. So if you notice what I just did there, I shifted the range to the percent LEL scale. So for hexane, this is the number we want to read, and it's at 15% LEL, exactly where it's supposed to be. Now I'm going to record all my information to my field form. You can see here that I already recorded my 93 parts per million for the isobutylene reading, and now I'm going to record my 15% LEL for my hexane. So if your calibration check readings are within 10% of the gas concentrations, you are in compliance with Pynchon's field soil screening SOP. If either of your readings are off by more than 10%, you must recalibrate your instrument. Don't forget to doc document when you completed your calibration checks and to save these to your server in your project file. Thank you for watching.